Welcome to Tech Wizards with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to install Visual Studio 2019 and Integration Services Project. Or you might end up on this video because you have installed Visual Studio 2019 and you are not able to find Integration Services Project. So let's go and go ahead and start taking a look how to perform this whole installation of Visual Studio and find or install Integration Services Project. So I'm on this machine where I have this google.com open now what I'm going to do I'm going to say download Visual Studio uh, 2019 and uh, once uh, we are there let's see what we find here now it's going to ask you uh, right there these are advertisements so so we can go right here uh, download Visual Studio tools let me see or right there so now let me open this a little bit expand it and here we have community version you have enterprise and all that so I'm gonna go ahead and do download the community version and uh, once you do that it's gonna open Visual Studio executable and now you can go ahead and start installation let's uh, close this and uh, here we are installing that Visual Studio installer continue it uh, downloaded the Visual Studio installer now uh, it's installing almost done getting ready okay so it's gonna bring you on this page uh, what you need to do this is one of the important thing uh, you need there so you're gonna go all the way right there and uh, this is the important part you need that data storage and processing connect development test data solution with SQL server uh, your data lake and uh, dupe and all that so you this one uh, you wanna click on that or because uh, you have a SQL server uh, data tools included uh, once you click on uh, this uh, data storage and processing uh, uh, tool set uh, that's what you need and uh, now you see right there so it's uh, asking there it's going to install some other uh, Azure Data Lake and the stream analytics tool the .NET framework and all so it's okay to have it now uh, it need total space 8.79 GB so we are good so we are selecting install while downloading you can uh, download it first and then install but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, install at the same time so I'm gonna click on install so it's uh, working now now it's installing and you can see that it needs to install a lot of uh, different uh, packages so, you so now you can see that it is, it is installing and uh, there are total 357 uh, uh, packages that it needs to install so right now it's on 39 number package it's a four person done so it's going to take some time maybe it take like seven to eight minutes to perform this whole in installation so finally we are getting there it's a 99 person done and it's uh, same finishing up now it should be done uh, took uh, around nine seven I don't know between seven to nine minutes so okay so finally our Visual Studio has been installed and if you see right there 16.11.3 so we call it Visual Studio 2019 um, that's a powerful IDE free for students open source contributors and all those kind of things so here you want to sign up and all those kind of thing if you want to you have some account to sign in you can otherwise I'm gonna go ahead and say not now maybe later and now it is asking me hey you wanna uh, choose a general JavaScript VB Visual Basic and all that I'm gonna go with general and then uh, you have a different type of uh, themes to choose uh, blue and uh, you have extra blue or dark or light uh, in my case uh, mostly I don't really care I just go with the default always and start Visual Studio this may take a few minutes so. I don't want to wait here for another 10 minutes so I'm hoping it should be done in like next 30 to 40 seconds and then we should be yeah that's pretty quick so it brought me here Visual Studio 2019 open recent I don't have anything open recent now I'm not gonna go clone a repository open a project a solution open a local folder create a new project so I'm gonna go without all these uh, get started and I'm gonna go continue with the out code so I'm right there and I'm opening this uh, Visual Studio now once the Visual Studio is open now what I need to do I, I'm gonna go to the file and I'm gonna go to new and I'm gonna go to the project here in the project what I'm looking for I'm looking for integration services project so I'm gonna go right there in the search and type integration so once I type integration I'm not seeing anything I should be seeing SSIS or you know integration services project but I'm not seeing that 
I don't know uh, because Visual Studio is used for so many different type of projects and that's one of the reason they didn't provide by default. So we have the way to do it. What we are going to do, we are going to go to the extensions and in the extension, we are going to go to manage extensions. Once we click on manage extensions, it's going to get us a lot of information. So it's going to get us a list of all those available installations we have right here. So if you see here, I am, uh, I'm, I have clicked, uh, by default it was online. So that's what I'm checking. So I'm gonna go here in the search and type integration. And now once I type integration, I'm gonna see this uh, yellow icon, SQL Server Integration Services Projects. Um, and it should say the, with the Microsoft. Uh, you don't wanna go with any other one such as, uh, see right there, there are tons of other bundles and all those kind of things. Uh, so you are not interested in that. Uh, you are interested in SQL Server Integration Services Project. Uh, and uh, that's by Microsoft. Uh, you can see some rating and all that here. Go click on download. And uh, now it's asking, hey, for the download, which uh, you would like to use your Google Chrome or Internet Explorer, I'm gonna go with the Google Chrome. So hit okay, and now it's uh, downloading right there. So Microsoft dot data tools. So that's what it is downloading. If you want me to take you to the folder, I can and show you what's happening here. So see right there, that's the file is uh, downloading. Once the file is uh, downloaded, this is uh, the uh, file you're gonna see, Microsoft dot data tools dot integration services. So let me double click here and uh, install it. Uh, okay, so select the language of installer. Yes, United States is fine. Okay, now it's asking uh, uh, SQL Server Integration Services Project. Yes, so click okay, next to begin. I'm gonna go next. And it's asking me, hey, what Visual Studio you have installed? The Visual Studio 2019 uh, community, that's what I have, yes, so install. Okay, so now it's going to give you all these different uh, type of errors here. Looks like you are doing something really, yeah, a lot of stuff that it need to take care of. So what do you have to do? You don't have to do a whole lot. You are going to just uh, close all the Visual Studios uh, projects. What do you have there? Okay, fine. Okay, instead of uh, closing the entire thing, what I was supposed to close, I was supposed to close uh, uh, these the Visual Studio and all that, uh, not the remote session. Um, so I'm right here and uh, uh, I have, uh, let me close this one as well. Now I'm gonna go to the, all the way down there and here in the task manager, I'm going to find few things. Uh, see it's saying, okay, if I'm gonna hit okay now and uh, uh, retry to install, let's see if it is a, uh, yeah, it's, it, it, once I close the Visual Studio and other tabs, it just started. Uh, but sometime what you have to do, you have to come right here and they go to the details here and uh, there is especially one I know that is called perf Boston. so that's if that's there because of the visual studio is open so you will see that so you find it and then just uh, click on and task so anything that is open you can always come to the task manager go to detail find that uh, uh, executable and close it to what it is complaining for so now What's happening uh, is installing version 3.15 SQL Server Integration Services uh, projects. Uh, so that's what it's installing. It's going to take some time and then we should, we should be good. Finally, our installation has been completed and uh, what we are going to do, we are going to click on close and now what we will do, we will go to the start button here and uh, then uh, we are going to locate uh, Visual Studio 2019. Uh, so we have right here. So let's click there. It's all going to open uh, Visual Studio 2019. And this time uh, we should have some success uh, when we will open SQL Server Integration Services uh, Project. Uh, so let's uh, go create uh, without creating code and all that. So let's go to the file, new project. And this time I'm going to search for integration services. Uh, so int integration services. So that's uh, what we have right there, integration services project. So I'm gonna click right there, hit next. And now I can provide the name. I'm gonna live with it. Uh, integration services project one is fine with me. And uh, then uh, I'm gonna click next or create. And it's gonna create a SQL Server integration services project for me. So you can see right there, it has created integration services project one. And uh, that's where my packages and now I have uh, parameters, connections managers and all those different uh, uh, tabs available for me to work on. So this is my SSIS package. If I just wanna go and uh, uh, do something about it, I can uh, bring the data flow task here and uh, 
uh, start working on it. So this is how you will be installing a Visual Studio and then uh, when you will be missing the integration services, uh, you will be going to the extension, manage extensions and finding out the integration services and then installing and downloading and installing. And uh, once you reopen your Visual Studio, you will be able to find uh, the integration services uh, project uh, uh, in that uh, search button. So thank you very much for watching and uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Please subscribe my channel if you guys like my effort.